I'll be showing you step by step how to add custom JavaScript to your Shopify store. For this video, I'm just going to be adding this random piece of JavaScript here that if I add it to my store, it's just going to show an alert box just to show that it's been installed correctly. Now to note, you probably don't want to install this yourself as it is quite distracting for users, but it's the same overall process if you're, let's say, installing a custom script from an app that you need on your store. So I'll navigate to the Shopify dashboard here and to go and add this JavaScript, we wanna to head to online store under sales channel as this is going to open up the Shopify theme section. Now, before adding any custom JavaScript, I'm just gonna recommend that you hover over these three dots here and click duplicate as this is just going to create an exact copy of your currently installed Shopify theme. And if you make any errors that you're not really sure what you did, you could easily restore this backup version. Now I have too many themes duplicates on my store, but I could just remove this and duplicate it again, as that would get me under the limit. Now to actually add this JavaScript, I want to hover over these three dots and then head to edit code. This is going to open up the Shopify code editor. And it's a little intimidating at first, as we can see, there are quite a few files here with different JSON sections, different code snippets and so on. But the section we want to pay attention to is going to be called theme.liquid. And this is the main page that is loaded on our store. And where we want to add this JavaScript is if we scroll to the bottom here, we could add this at the end of the body section. Now it's going to depend on what you're installing. It might say to install at the end of the head section or body section. If we could just visualize that of the head being kind of the core part and then the body being where most of the content is loaded but we can find each of those easily. So if you click control F, let's say we want to add it to the end of the head section. So I could search for slash head, and this brings me to the bottom of the head section. So if I wanted to, I could just paste this script that I have here. So that's it here. And if I wanted to get to the end of the body section, I could do the same thing by just hitting slash body. And if I press next, I can see it here highlighted. I could also just paste this in here as well if I wanted to. Something you can add as well is comments. And so comment is going to be, if I zoom in here so you can see what I'm writing, left arrow, exclamation point, dash, dash. And a closing comment is dash, dash, right arrow. And so within this comment, I could actually just write any text that I want. Sometimes it's there to denote what this script is actually for. So I could just say start, write any text. And below it, I could write and write any text. This just makes it easier that if I were ever to come back and wonder what this was, I left myself a comment noting exactly what it was for and why I installed it. Now I'm gonna remove this body one here as I already have it in the head section. But to finalize any of your changes, just hit save in the top right here. I'm gonna head back to my Shopify dashboard and under online store, I'm gonna click on this eyeball icon and this is going to load my Shopify store. And I can see right away, I get this I am an alert box and this is really blocking because I have to hit okay here to actually load my store, but I can see that that JavaScript was installed correctly. I'm just gonna head back to this section here, search again for the head tag, and I'm just gonna remove this custom script and I can just hit save in the top right to finalize that. I wanna take a second here to say if you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. You have your cost of goods sold, transaction fees, shipping expenses, ad spend, and more, and it can be quite a headache to track in a spreadsheet. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. It syncs seamlessly with not only your store, but your cost of goods sold, transaction fees, and ad spend for all the different ad accounts on Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, and it's super easy to set up. And once you're there, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations with a fully customizable dashboard that's gonna let you truly understand your store's performance. And this is gonna let you make smarter business decisions. You won't be guessing on how much money your store has made in the last week, month, or year. There are tons of different details, analytics, and metrics, all to help give you really solid insights into your store's performance. There's a 15-day free trial, so you can test drive everything for yourself. I'll leave a link in the description below to the Shopify app listing. You could also just search for it in the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. So make sure you check that out. And as mentioned, it has a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. But overall, step by step, I added some custom JavaScript to my Shopify store and it requires essentially just loading the Shopify code editor and then copying and pasting it in. So that's the overall process step by step. If this video helped at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.